Hello everyone, this is Smita from Informatica GCS. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to apply and roll back EBF in Informatica. Agenda of this video are as follow. What is an EBF? Prerequisite to apply EBF and demo on the same. What is EBF? EBF stands for Emergency Bug Fix. When we find any bug in Informatica product, we provide patch to up fix that bug. To apply any EBF, we need to find a downtime because we need to down, shut down the domain. And you should download the EBF file from the TSFTP location. You can contact Informatica GCS to get the location from where you need to download the EBF. Steps to apply EBF. To apply EBF, you need to extract the EBF installers in Informatica server or if it's a client EBF, you need to extract the installers in Informatica client server. Once you extract, you can find input.properties file where you need to provide info home location that is the destination folder where, where EBF will be applied and then run the install ebf.sh file or in, install ebf batch file. To roll back EBF, you need to Edit the same input.properties file and set rollback equal to 1. It means we are going to roll back the EBF. And check whether the info home is pointing to proper info, Informatica server location and then run the install, install ebf.sh file. It will roll back the EBF. Now let's see a demo on how to install EBF. Currently, I have logged into Informatica server and I have shut down the services and transferred the EBF file and extracted in one of the info home location. You can keep it anywhere in the server. Now let's see the input.properties file. I could see that I've already edited and added the info home location in the input.properties file. Now let's run the install ebf.sh file. Once the ebf is installation is done, we can see a installation log created in info home location and a file ebf history.info file will be updated with the ebf details in info home server bin directory. Currently, I am in info home location and I can see a in ebf install log file has been created and I could see that the file has been replaced before replacing with the edited EBF file. Now let's check the EBF history.info file. Now I am in info home server bin directory. I can see that EBF history.info file has been updated and libpm ora file is one of the file which will get replaced when we apply this particular EBF. So that also we can check it has updated in the latest timestamp. Now let's see how to roll back the EBF. Currently I am in the location where EBF installers has been extracted. Open the input.properties file. Rollback option is set to zero. Change it to one. And I have already set info home to location where EBF has been installed. Save the file and then run install ebf.sh file. Once the installation is done, we can see install login info home location and in the EBF history.info file, uh, we can see that this particular EBF entry has been removed. I'm currently in info home location and I can see that EBF install log has been created, but I can see that all the files which were replaced while applying EBF has been reverted back. Now let's see the ebf history.info file and check whether entry is still there or not. 
This is the EPF history.info file, which is there in InfoHome server bin location. And the EPF which I have rolled back is EPF 10907. If I search for that string, I don't see any entry in the EBF history.info file. When you are applying EBF in Windows servers, you have to provide the info home location, same as in Linux, but make sure that you are adding double backward slashes when you are providing the location. And after that, you can run install ebf.bat file. If you are applying EBF on clients, you have to give the client installed location inst instead of server. Thanks for wat watching this video. We would love to hear your feedback. You can write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can leave your comments using Twitter handle InfaSupport. Thank you.